getting around today and what they're looking for. James? Well, we've definitely seen a lot more people out today, but not for casual drives. Everyone I spoke to was out trying to get ready ahead of more winter weather. I think it's going to be the maybe the worst sustained winter weather we've had since I've been in Tulsa since 2004. So I think we're just trying to we're trying to get what we can to try to help. City of Tulsa crews worked all night and today plowing and treating the roads. And Tulsans have been trying to get their hands on anything to help clear their driveways. It's been a race against time, I guess, because some places just said that they were totally out of everything. A few places may have something, but I'm trying to come to the places that are closest to me so I don't have to drive as far. Woodson says he's been to five different stores today to no avail yet. At Lowe's, Swicer says they've had ice melt in stock and are waiting for more to completely stack the shelves. But he's been trying to help his staff that wants to come to work today to navigate the winter weather so someone can sell it. I just told my uh, my department managers up front and my assistants that I've got a four-wheel drive vehicle, so if someone needs a ride and that's all that's keeping them from being here, then I'll be glad to do what I can to help. And with more weather on the way, it's halftime, and they're trying to regroup. Uh, we've got enough people here to try to do what we can to try to take care of our customers. This is just the first of the first half of a, of a four quarter game here. So right now my, my, my driveway is looking good. I've got everything up, but I just need to put something down to anticipate the rest of the snow that's coming. Now, Schweitzer says that while ice melt and salt has been on the front of everyone's minds, they're also trying to stock up on things like heaters and pipe insulation because of tonight's low temperatures. Live from Tulsa Hills, James King, News Channel 8.